Hi, my name is Claire Egan. I am a member of the U.S. Women's Biathlon Team. I am 29 years old and I am originally from Cape Elizabeth, Maine. So I'm going to ask Claire some of your questions that you gave my mom. Um, so we'll start out with, what do you like to do when you're not racing or training? Hmm, well, I enjoy music and singing, so um, I like to play the guitar and sing songs, and I also like learning other languages, so this year I'm trying to learn Korean. Can you say something for us in Korean? Sure. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 Claire예요. That means, hello, how are you? My name is Claire. <laughs> Okay, tell us about the different members on the team. They want to know like who, like how many people okay. are, like things like that. Um, our women's team um, at the national senior level, which is everyone who's graduated from high school pretty much, um, includes four women. Susan Dunkley is our longest um, member on the team. She's been on the team the longest. Um, she is from Vermont, and she's 30, 31. 31. She just turned 31. <laughs> um, I am the one who's been on the team the next longest. This is my third year on the team. And then we have two newer members on the team, Maddie Faniff, and uh, she's from Old Forge, New York. She's 21. And Joanne Reed, who is originally from California, and Joanne is 24? Four, yeah. 24. Yeah. Um, are the clothes you wear in a race warm? Because they look very thin. Mm, that's a good <laughs> point. They are thin, and when it's really cold, what we have to do is put on a lot of layers. So we're trying to accomplish two things. We want to be warm, but we also want to be able to move our bodies freely. And you can imagine wearing a big jacket and big snow pants that you couldn't run very fast or cross-country ski very fast in those clothes so we wear that's why we wear these tight clothes because it allows us to move easily and also go through the air easily they're aerodynamic clothes um, but we wear a lot of layers underneath like thin long underwear layers that are made of wool or a material like that that is warm so it may look like we are uh, wearing a very thin race suit, but we might have two or three layers of long underwear underneath when it's really cold. Um, do you know what the average amount of snow is where we where we race? Oh, I you know I don't know, but it's not yes. We uh, we race in a lot of places that get a lot of snow, similar to Old Forge, New York. Um, sometimes though, there's not a lot of natural snow and then we race on man-made snow. Um, do you know what, what is the furthest race you've ever done? Like the longest race or the farthest from home, you think? I can answer both. both. The longest race I've ever done is 50K, 50 kilometers, which is 30 miles? No, I think it's less than half. Oh, yeah. I think. I th <laughs> You'll have to do the math. See if you can figure out how to do the math, what 50 kilometers is in miles. In miles. <laughs> um, because I don't know. Wait, 5K is 3.1 miles. Yeah, so, so 50K is 31 miles. Yeah. Um, do you know how long it took you to race a 50K? Um, I think it took me almost three hours. Um, that was really, really long, and I had to eat and drink in the middle of the race while I was still skiing. Mm -hmm. um, and the race that I've done that's farthest from home, if that was your question, um, is probably um, in Poland or Finland. Um, but next week I'll be going to Korea, which is definitely the farthest I've ever been from home ever. Um, so I'm looking forward to exploring a new continent in Asia. And the last question, do you ski all day long when you practice? I don't ski all day long, but I do ski almost every day. Um, and in the summer I do different 
kinds of workouts like running or roller skiing almost every day. Um, so when we do the bulk of our training in the summer months, we might be exercising for two to five hours in one day. Um, but in the wintertime when we're trying to conserve our energy more for racing, then I, ra then I um, am racing for one or racing and warming up and training for only one or two hours a day. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks Claire. for your questions. <laughs> and we'll stop.